take the lip balm, which is the only thing that doesn't have a color, the only pan that doesn't have a color around it, has a little silver color, and you take that with your finger, you apply a generous amount, and it's wonderful things like E, cocoa butter, all kinds of things were good for your lip. You put a good amount on and you leave it there to soak in. Spot Concealer. It's a totally opaque formula that I got from a German dry queen. It was made to cover wine spots. Once you put it on, you won't see through it. It's what I use instead of a foundation. But a lot of people will have to use foundation. If you don't have my brush, get something similar like this. Okay. You hold the palette up to your face to see which spots are the closest, which colors are the closest to your spots. And to make a perfect match, you mix the colors that look closest to your spots on the thumb, well, right on the side of your thumb. Now, if you use foundation, you put the foundation on after the moisturizer, before the spots, and then put the spotter on after your foundation, directly on the spot. Now, when you're putting on the spotter, don't make the mistake of when you put it on a spot, don't make the mistake of smearing it off the little tiny spot you put it on. Make sure you press it right in, pat it right into the spot itself. Don't move it. Okay. After you do the spots, you set them or fix them with loose powder. And you do it just in that little spot. Third step is the orange light concealer. Use the orange brush. If you didn't get the brushes, get the closest brush you've got to this on the orange ring light concealer pan. This is really magic stuff. It's a transparent concealer, something that almost doesn't exist. That means it has no filler. And no filler means you still see your skin through it. It just leaves light on the shadow. So, look in and see where the shadows are in your face. See, I have shadows, most women do too, all around the howdy duty line. The howdy duty line is from here to here. Also, usually we have ruddiness right underneath our nose. Just get that right in there. And then you pat it in. Everybody's shadows are approximately the same place, but they move a little bit. So that's why you have to look and see where your particular ones are. Another great place for shadow is the side. This is a trick. The side of the, where in the corner of the eye, next to the side of the nose. As our skin thins, the nose bone shows through the nose and gets very dark, which makes your eyes look closer together. You want to take this transparent concealer and put it exactly on the shadow and uh, put on a little bit. And also, you're very thin right here at the corner of the eye, going out. Try not to bring it down. Try to bring it going up. And then, you pat that in. This, I'm very, very, very proud of this. It's really magic stuff. And there's another big trick I do with this, which will straighten out your nose. That's a good one, straightening out your nose. I like to do it with my finger because for some reason I have more control with my finger than a brush. But, you know, you might like your brush. You look straight into the mirror. You put your finger right in the middle of your nose and you bring it straight down. Not very long. I mean, not all the way down to the end of your nose. I put this down too far. That's a, see? And then you pat it in. You don't want to leave a streak on your nose. You just want to make a little faint light down the middle of your nose. And if your nose is like got an indentation on one side and it goes in a zigzag, you make the light straight down.